working on interior design projects is a common reason for using 3D software, and there is a lot to choose from. Today we're gonna talk about the difference between SketchUp and Blender when it comes to interior design. SketchUp One of the most important differences between Blender and SketchUp is the fact that SketchUp is designed to be as efficient as possible by simplifying things to people who have little to no experience working using 3D software. Actually, you don't even have to model 3D elements such as furniture in your interior scenes if you don't want to, because there is a library with thousands of free-to-use models known as the warehouse. You can actually model stuff using SketchUp, and the simpler the model is, the more suitable SketchUp is, because for modeling complex or organic models, you need to have solid experience using the software. Also using SketchUp, you can import or create your own floor plans using its 2D drafting tools. After you model your interior scene or import the 3D models from the warehouse, you can add materials and textures. And for rendering realistic interior scenes using SketchUp, you are gonna need a good render engine such as V-Ray. Blender Blender, on the other hand, is a far more advanced, free and open source 3D package that can do a lot of things other than create an interior design. It is actually capable of creating complex character animation, simulating effects and dynamics, creating game-ready models, and much more. I would say you can do in Blender anything you can do in SketchUp with the ability to have more control and high quality results, except when it comes to creating 2D floor plans, but Blender is capable of creating them if you want to nonetheless. Using Blender you can create very simple or complex models, especially complex organic models, because you are not limited by what the software can do. Your imagination is the limit. You can also find online free or paid 3D models if you want to save time working on your projects. Blender has a more advanced system for adding materials and textures, which allows you to make your 3D elements in the scene look exactly the way you want them to. And when it comes to rendering, there are actually two powerful render engines, Cycles, which is a ray tracing render engine that is being used to render accurate, high quality final results, and there is also EV, which is a fantastic real time render engine that can help you get much faster results, which allows you to see your scenes being rendered in real time. And of course, you can use third party plugins such as V-Ray if you want to. The learning curve SketchUp's goal is to allow people who don't have a lot of experience to work on architectural projects. So ease of use is one of the most important selling points when it comes to SketchUp because it has a very simple user interface with tools that pretty much do what you expect them to do. But this comes at the cost of being restricted at what you can do compared to Blender if you want more complex stuff. For the longest time, Blender did not have a very attractive user interface. But now with the 2.8 release and beyond, it has become much better and user friendly. Blender is actually not hard to learn as many people think. If you spend a few weeks learning the tools, you will get access to an incredible tool set that will allow you to work on your own interior design projects with unlimited possibilities. Final thoughts. If you don't have a lot of experience using 3D software and you just want to create quick renders, or if you want to be laser focused on working on interior design projects and you are fine with not being able to reach impressive levels of detail and complexity working on your own 3D models, then use SketchUp. But if you want to model whatever you need, have greater control over materials and textures, and get access to strong render engines for free, then you must use Blender. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comments section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.